this is the vent train. Uh, basically, this is for a needle cricothyrotomy. And um, it is an interesting piece of equipment in that it, you're at 15 meters per minute, but it can actually do active and passive uh, removal of air. I have my thumb and finger covering the holes. This is then blowing air in. If I take my thumb up, then it sucks the air out so you don't get the barrel trauma. So why, why would you want to suck the air out? If, let's say a kid has inhaled a hot dog. He's got complete airway obstruction. And so now you're ventilating with a, with a 14 gauge catheter through the cricothyroid membrane. Where's that air gonna go? It's just gonna get barrel trauma. It's just gonna build up in the lungs. So uh, passively removing the air, passively removing the air is okay, but you have to kind of wait five, six seconds, maybe to let the air out. do now is I'm going to take this uh, 14 gauge catheter and uh, take it and I'm going to go into my lung here and this is doing this is through the cricothyroid membrane puncture this I'm going to pull out the needle and then I'm going to hook up the ventrain to my lung so that's the uh, 14 gauge catheter that's got the uh, lure lock adapter to it um, you've got the uh, this is where the active uh, sucking of air comes out of and then <laughs> look at that so this is sucking the air out so you can see it actually all right now i'm putting air in ventilating all right active expiration active ventilation active expiration Active ventilation, passive, passive expiration, passive expiration. I have a Cook uh, transtracheal jet ventilation needle. I have another needle uh, that the company that creates it. I don't have. I don't remember exactly, but it it actually will. You can actually tie it onto the patient. This this is a this is a perfect size for like a pediatric patient. This is okay for a larger pediatric patient. The value is this, is it's a stiff, it won't bend. Most of these 14 gauge catheters that we use for transtracheal jet ventilation, they kink. The vent train device, the vent train device is a, is a device that is, I think, perfect for uh, transtracheal jet ventilation. It has the option to actually ventilate the patient because as you, as you inject air, for two seconds at 15 liters per minute, you'll put in, for two seconds, you put in 500 ml. You can lift your thumb, thumb sucking, think about thumb suckers, you know, little kids. Thumb sucking pulls the air out. And so you totally, so if you have complete airway obstruction, this actually lets you remove the air from the chest rather than just put air in and then Pray to God that it goes somewhere, you know, to complete a prayer web structure. It also has the option for passive, passive expiration. So you let your finger up, keep your thumb on that, on the, on the top port. There's two ports. The, the top port's for sucking it out. The bottom port is for passive expiration. I also then have oxygen, and we'll crank it up to like 15 liters, and we'll see if we can ventilate, okay? Um, I'm going to find the cricothyroid membrane, so I think here's my larynx, and I have to assume it's right about, it's right about here, is that right? Yes. Okay, alright, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go in with this, I'm going to aspirate, okay, got air, okay, so um, pull my needle out, now let's watch this. So we will hook this up. Okay, if you'll stabilize that, if you stabilize that, now two seconds. I'm sucking the air out. Two seconds in, 500 ml. That's at 15 liters per minute. 